First of all, how am I supposed to vlog when I can't even breathe? I'm literally gonna pass out and die on the floor. Hey everybody, it's 100 degrees out and I'm outside, okay. Like, I'm in Grand City Park, a town in Nassau County. I'm out of breath because I was just, you know, playing Batman with my little cousin, but it's nice out. Say hi, Tyler. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, that's my family, y'all. So, you know how that goes. But we chillin'. Hi! Hi! <laughs> that's my baby, guys. Hi. She's my mom. All right, I'm gonna play a little more Batman. Y'all wanna see? Y'all wanna see how we do? <laughs> oh! Stop that ring! I got my other little cousin here about to, you know, hit us with the savage real quick. You ready, Bree? All right, let's see. All right, come on. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Good. <laughs> This is a good one on Gail. All right, so here it goes, guys. I'm going for a walk. I'm gonna, this is my second day of just, you know, daily exercise. Super ready, y'all. Every day, this is gonna be my life for the next, well, for the whole quarantine. At least just, you know, brisk walking. I got this nasty shake I made in the house. Like, what the, what I thinking? Cause this is disgusting. I'm on Bolton Mac Park, guys, waiting for, Andrew Ayodish, that's what I call him. We went to school together, y'all. He's doing big things. Like he, I think he got this pavement made. Like he tries to put on for the whole town, you know what I'm saying? Like I think he does like some Congress work. You're all gonna find that out when he gets here. He's gonna be here in approximately five minutes. When he gets here, it's about to be on in practice. Finally got here, y'all. Here he at. Oh, yeah, man, we at the Mac, Andrew. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome to the Lost Borough. This is my new vlog from Long Island, highlighting all Long Island talent, all everything Long Island. You know what I'm saying? Bars, lounges, local talent. This guy right here, entrepreneur for sure. I mean, like we, I know this guy for a while now, so he he got it going on for sure. Um, this is Android DG. As you can see, we're in Evergo. We're in the park. It's called Boulder Mac Park, right up the block from my mother's house. She lives around the corner from here. Um, since when I moved out here, I pretty much grew up here. Still lost my arm, Drew, man. Found out of both the Mac Park Summer League here in Emmyville, Rhode Island. Um, we going into our fourth year, so we just happy to give back to the community. I'm happy, I'm happy. Hey, okay, so, honestly, where are you from? From Emmyville. Hey. Yeah, born and raised. That's what we call it. We call it Emmyville. Yeah, Emmyville. How would you say you grew up, though? Like, how, how was it living out here your whole life? You grew up out here yeah, from yeah. first. Yeah. So when I ask you where you from, I want to know, like, we want to get to know you, like, from the nitty gritty. Like, was you a, a rude boy? You was a bad guy growing up? Or were nah, you, like, nah, nah, I was the outskirts? You wasn't doing that? I wasn't doing too much of nothing. Man. Now this. Play, community guy. That's you really was, was, though. Because yeah. I remember we went to the school together, high school. Um, yeah. He played basketball. He was varsity when I got there. Yeah. Um, so. I only played varsity. I ain't never played nothing. Oh, you was never JV? Nah, I only okay. played varsity. Okay, you spicy. You're yeah. super spicy, bro. <laughs> That's lit, though. I remember I was a varsity cheerleader, you know. Let me not brag. But guys, I was supposed to be wearing yeah. this sorry, outfit. They sold out. They was out of high demand. I'm sorry. That's good luck, so I'm glad yeah. that you sold out. Definitely. That's lit. So that means he's making a little money. I'm just want like, listen, is this a profitable business for you? Um, Somewhat. Somewhat. It's getting there. It's taking time. I'm going through trial and never with it. Like I said, this is my fourth year, so it's getting there. I only asked you because I want, like, People who haven't, oh, people who want to start clothing brands to see like where it comes from the bottom. You have to start from the bottom, and then you obviously hopefully make your way up to the top. So you have to like buy the well, fabric. See, my and thing then, is not necessarily a clothing brand. Like this is just a brand that I'm promoting for my overall brand. When I was, I was a cheerleader, I remember them always calling your name. Like yeah. you were super popular. Like, um, we won a, I won a Long Island Championship my 10th grade year. We was a state run out that year. We won a league championship every year I was there. I was all Long Island. That's um, lit. I got a scholarship to school. I played college basketball. 
Oh, you got a, a full ride? Yeah, I got a full scout. Listen, when you get a full ride, you know you're something special. So, like, what do you have to do? Like, get different teams from Amityville, or is it different neighborhoods? Um, it's different places all over New York. You know what I'm saying? We got teams from Queens, we got teams from Brooklyn, we got teams from Howard East Long Island, we got teams from Nassau Long Island. We had a team from Jersey come out. So basketball team, yeah, we're talking about yeah, that. Basketball team, basketball team. Right. So we got we got little kids. We got like five divisions here. We got little kids. That's like the babies and the ponies mm -hmm. and stuff. Then we got um, high school boys. We got high school girls. Then we got we did pro and women one year. We didn't follow up with that, but we got pro and adults. Girls got Brooklyn. Uptown got Dykeman. Lincoln got Queens. Um, Okay, so we have something. I don't want anybody to sleep on Long Island. I know it's the Lost Borough, but we're still here, guys. We're still connected to New York. Don't forget about us, okay? A lot of people came from out here. Don't sleep. All right, so you told us about the Golden Mac Park Summer League that you came up with. This is your baby. This is your thing, all right? And we also know that you're dabbling in some political. Like, I know, i seen you on, on Facebook running for... Some type of town thing. What did you do? What was that? I ran for Amityville School Board last year. I came up a little bit short. I lost my like 55 votes. It's not a lot. Not, not a lot at all. That was uh, that was like my first job and to you know like run for something. But I got a civic association as well that I uh, I co-founded with my partner Danny Gordon. It's called Minority Millennials Inc. Really? That's you? Yeah. I just seen that too. Yeah. yeah okay. That's me. I'm a co-founder. basically bridging the gap between like policy and culture kind of um you know just getting people like us our age back and aware like what's going on with different legislations and you know different political figures and stuff like that really kind of bridging that gap making it appealing to us so you know that's what i kind of got going on how right do, now as far as the political realm. right how do you plan on letting like how does millennial your group let everybody know about how to do things like that like, um we just got different things like today we just got a live webinar on newsday with uh, the attorney general Today, I'm talking to Danny Wood, you know, they did a live uh, webinar, and they just had a lot of questions um, that they answered how, you know, that, that people could survive, uh, you know, the pandemic situation, and just um, kind of making it easy for us to kind of read into, you know what I'm saying, a lot of this stuff and laws and different school things and different, you know, political things is kind of ambiguous, you know what I mean, like, we can't really, you know, understand how they present it to us, so, when you got people like us, we can kind of translate it. We can kind of, you know, study it to learn what's going on and bring it back to the people so they understand it a little bit better. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah, I really, I, when I saw you doing it, I was like, wow, he's really doing his thing. I was really proud for him, you know what I mean? I I, I didn't know how to vote. I wish you would talk. I'm sure it was a link, right? It was super um, simple, like a link you just click and nah, vote. Nah, this year is going to be like that because of the COVID-19 thing. You got to, they yeah. going to be mailing. Listen, Amityville, they going to be mailing the uh the ballots in so you're gonna mail them back this year we voting for leslie Chris, lisa johnson and carol seahorse remember that y'all put that in there but um nah it was like they had they had voting stations they had the high school if you live in south amityville and they had northeast and the middle right. school if you live in north amityville you just had to go in there and hit the ballot but i wasn't even messed up about it more people came out on this side ever than they ever been, ever did before so it was good it was an awakening i think this year it's the, the people that's running for it is, is, is good to be in there they older ladies they've been in the uh, community for years yeah. most of them are teachers so they got the community's interest and they got the kids education at heart so, so this is from street basketball and now we're street political this is my brother boy, boy drew lit okay let's see about what's going on Oh, let's see the outfit. Look at the outfit, guys. Uh, one of the sweatsuits that we got. Where can we find you? Give us your tags. Give us first name, last name, Andrew Ayodizi, Golden Mac Park. Same thing on Facebook. We got bags, socks, book bags, hats, masks. I don't got the mask on because I had to talk, but we got masks. We got everything, man. Y'all just tune we in. We got his boy here, though, too. Everybody's rocking his clothes right now. Everybody. I'm supposed to be rocking it, but I don't have it. But everybody's got, got, got it on. All right, so everybody be sure to follow Andrew IADZ on Instagram, Golden Mac Park, right? Andrew IADZ, Golden Mac Park. Okay, follow me, The Lost Girl, founder, Verde X. Okay, Verde underscore X. Shout out my home girl Tamara, man. Y'all tune in to Roseboro, man, Long Island. Y'all check into this. I appreciate y'all having me, man. The Mac is where it's at this summer, Golden Mac Park, year four, man. Y'all tune in.